what's up this your boy prince thank you for watching me today this your boy prince and thank you for being here with me all my viewers my fans here in the united kingdom thank you for being part of the show this and every saturday you're gonna see me on your screens thank you for watching me right here on channel 7 sky 182 this and every saturday thank you for being part of the family and also just go ahead after you watch it here you can still watch us live on youtube go urban mix tv subscribe to the channel and also click the subscribe button right right there right there if you're watching me on youtube and if you're watching me live on sky channel 7 after you are done here just go on youtube and check on urban mix tv all right so if this is the first time you're watching us we have a lot of giveaways every week so if you're watching me all you have to do is go on all our social media platform as you can see right right here this logo you're going to see us urban mix and we're going to send you one of our branded headphones and the caps we have here just follow us on instagram urban underscore mix today we had one of the biggest one of the finest he is coming to the studio to perform live here in the studio we have a studio b he's going to be with us he go by the name tanqua he is one of the biggest rappers, musicians coming from Cameroon. So all my Francophone friends here in the United Kingdom and Europe as well, just be on watch. And he is performing with us today. We will have one-on-one -on -one with him as also he will explain to us some of the French, I mean, music. I mean, I don't speak French, but he's going to be with us in the studio to do one-on-one, -on -one, to express himself, tell us about his journey, here in the United States. So if you're watching me, thank you for being part of the show. And I go by the name Prince, and this is Urban Mix. Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. We're gonna go straight to Studio B, where Tanqua is ready to take us through his first track. So if you're ready, let's go Tanqua in Studio B. Quand je pense à ton gars, mon bon job, Olivier et Nyege, ma soda fauche, Bouddha et bois, je le bobo et gagné. Je me sens tout excité. Ils sont nombreux, je ne peux pas tous les citer Je me souviens quand on t'appelait les divers Toute la nuit, quand on jouait Au coup d'eau, sous la pluie On discutait et personne ne faisait de confusion On comparait et tôt et trop bas Sans jamais faire de conclusion Beaucoup ignorent que c'est pas ma terre D'origine ici, je suis busy Ils pensent que je me prends la tête Sachez que je ne vis personne C'est chaud le car car Il fait froid jusqu'à le feu Je sors, je sors, je sors Je me souviens quand j'étais écolier, camarade de Dieu, son mincha épaulé, Chaco, Momiangel, Mendo, Rodrigue et On avait des langages que nous seuls pouvions décoder. Je me souviens quand nous nous unissions à Paquita, c'était comme une punition, on allait même sans capital. Est-ce que je savais que je devais être amoureux de Stéphanie Yondo J'étais fasciné par les qui nature, les lions d'or. C'est la réalité, on était victime de tout genre de pénalité Des devoirs à faire, à la pluie on n'était pas notre affaire On n'exclut pas pour ça, donc rien à cirer Pour l'amour de ceux qui me respectent, je reste straight Ou à défaut, je serai en trait J'arrêterai de me vexer à l'excès Quand je serai à l'accès du héros ou de la banane malaxée Malaxée, malaxée, malaxée quand je serai à la du du héros ou de la banane malaxée. Man, that was massive. He's going to be in the studio to discuss about this. In the meantime, let me just flow you with what is happening in the entertainment industry. When you go back to Ghana, there's one issue that is flowing and is making much waves. It has to do with the jet maker. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this guy that they're accusing of stealing songs i don't think so first incident was between him dr drew is it dr drew mr drew he go by the name mr drew he comes from i mean k was uh, uh, a record label that is uh, highly spiritual 
this guy actually had an issue over the weekend about releasing a new track that belongs to one Nigerian American called Rotimi. If you don't know the track, the track has already been deleted on YouTube and it's very, very difficult for you to get a song. But hey, here on Urban Mix, we have the video for you. Mr. Drew, the one for the ladies. I just came to Mom and Didi. Oh, boy. You they give me attitude. Where I don't know what I do. Sugar daddy do the two. It ain't make a day confused. Where did you go? When I call you, no they pick. My mind they blow. When we see you on the street, oh. I send you mobile. Now your number, no they reach, oh. But now I day for your house. Check, make we show the things we desire. Just can't see. And just for you to know that this video actually right now is going through a lot because the guy has been accused of stealing a song even though he said he was doing a verse a cover we don't know what he was trying to do but i mean if you remember between him and carol songs when carol songs came out and said he has stolen his song thank you very much okay so kevin are you are you okay are you satisfied with this answer? once they can stand before god and say that i'm fine it is creamy can't talk. I'm okay. I don't need to say anything. Yeah, okay. But you now turn on lights. Thing. I know that is mine. Uh, that is what made me say Mr. Drew. Yes, yeah, speaking to a microphone. Do you see me being strong on there? Meet me here, man. But that is mine. Yeah, okay. 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 And it became a controversy. A lot of people were like, oh, Kel Song, because you are out there, that's why you want to just beef with them. But hey, this time around, he did it again. The most important aspect of this whole issue is bringing Stoneboy into the matter. To be very honest with you, Stoneboy right now is going through a lot. Even though he has released his album, he's promoting it, but just joining this I mean controversy is not a good fit for him because I mean with Stoneboy's image and with this controversy of stealing a song putting Stoneboy on it I mean but the verse Stoneboy put on this song was massive Mr. Drew is here with, with us in the studio were, were, were you aware that it was a cover the song you featured for Mr. Drew were you aware that it was someone's song thank you I just want to set the record straight um you know, I'm working on my album project and I should have been very, very busy, but I'm somebody who, who loves to, I'm, I'm, I'm a selfless person, super selfless. And I think when things are turning around for some, you know, I'm, I know Ghana lifestyle. Pa, and I think with the way the news is buzzing, I'm beginning to feel disturbed, you know, why my name should even be roping in some things, you know, when when all I did was to show super love. Now, let me tell you the short story. It will take only 20 seconds. I was on Instagram, right? The explore part, the explore page. I chanced upon his, 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 I chanced upon the thing he posted. I don't follow him though. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm saying that for any clout. But on the explore page, you, you see a lot of things roll up. So that rolled up. Then I think the caption was, um, should I release this or something about, about that place? Then I looked at the handle and I realized it was Mr. Drew, one of Kewa's boys, right? So for the relationship I had with Kewa, and Kewa knows and I know me and him are super cool, I'm like, oh, but that sounds nice. Fortunately enough, it was from one of his boys. Then I sent him a DM and said, bro, send me this for, for, for a verse. He, was, he, he would confess to you, that he was, he was overwhelmed. He didn't even understand how in the world his stars would align for something like this to come his way when he would have least thought about it. Because Kewa could have called me if they... And K, even Kewa knew that I was super busy. It's not even Kewa who called me. Nothing. It was out of, out of me being who Stoneboy has always been. I reached out to the list of people any day, any time, and I helped them out. 
from finances to everything. How much more music? Those who are very close to me and knows my heart knows my heart. So if trouble has bounced back, I think that the best way is for them to even reiterate the love that I've shown them on this thing. Fine, now let's move forward. I finished recording this beautiful verse in my house, beating it loud, and my brother comes and tells me, bro, it be like a song, it be somebody in song go. I said, playmaker here. So he played the beat, I realized the beat was like direct. And some of the, and the melodies too, literally. So I reached I'm like, ah, but the thing would be like this, via the same IG again. Then he said, it's a cover. I'm like, ah, oh, fine, if it's a cover, just do what you have to do because people do do covers. Covers are running the whole world. Artists do cover people's songs. Simple, but it's not my business to come and clear your song and make sure things are done right. That was when I found out it was a cover. I sent the song over. Kwa called me to thank me for what I done for his boy, and I'm like, yo, bro, you know me already now. You didn't even ask me to do this, you know. Meanwhile, I've had, I have like a million com- up, um, um, features piling down there, sitting that I have to find time to do. I just showed love, you know what I mean. And then I also went back again. They they set the video time, and I managed to squeeze myself into the video time, and I fixed the video for them. When I did finish fixing the video, they just released the song, the video like that, bang, without me certifying to see, okay, if this is good for the image or this is not good for the image or this is whatever, whatever, whatever. This is a situation whereby this song has been taken down. So it's like listening to this whole vibe and going to YouTube to just go and see what is happening. It's something that is so not good for the image of Stoneboy. But anyway, that's already happened. Mr. Drew has took to Twitter, Instagram, explaining himself. I respect Stoneboy so much, so much for showing me love, for jumping onto my song. And I would never, ever disrespect him in any way. You understand? So this is like my official apology to Stoneboy, his management, and uh, the BIM natives as well. I would never disrespect anybody. It's been pure love and it will be pure love throughout. You understand? I would still love Stoneboy no matter what. Because I'm seeing a lot of things. I'm seeing people, you know, attack me, the BIM natives and all that. And I just want to say that I would never, ever disrespect or sell out anybody. Especially Stoneboy for being on my song. So for those of you, you know, saying that, oh, I've disrespected Stoneboy. I will never do that. And I'm saying this officially. You know, for somebody who has blessed me with a verse, the most powerful verse, trust me. You know, you listen to the song, I know say it'd be mad verse. And I want to say, you understand? Um, apologies to Stoneboy. The name, the brand Stoneboy. Apologies to Beam Natives. Apologies to um, Stoneboy's management as well. And we didn't do our part well. And Stoneboy, we want to, you know, separate Stoneboy from all this. We want to just take Stoneboy from all this. If you're listening to his his explanation and everything that he's talking about, I don't think it was appropriate for you to just go ahead, take a song, the same rhythm, the same melodies, the same beats and everything. I mean, I don't know whether KY, his manager, was not aware. I know KY is a good, good manager. He's a good beat maker, but like, all right, so somebody will ask, what is the big deal about this? The big deal here is, yes, Nigerians, a lot of them steal Ghanaian music and remake them, but we don't take any action, but this time around, the Nigerians are taking action. So as you are there watching me, you are from Nigeria, you're from Ghana, the whole Africa, yes, copyright is copyright. It doesn't matter where you come from. You don't have to take somebody's job and remake it to be your own. You can't take that, it's not good. Still on this issue, one guy that a lot of people are accusing being a snitch coming all the way from Ghana was the guy who actually called Rotimi and told him that, man, somebody has stolen your song, they're doing a new verse, even collaborating with the biggest artist in Ghana. Man, a lot of people are calling him names, but he came on with an interview explaining the reason why he did that. Listen, me, I don't have a problem with Drew, um, Drew and I say creamy and I say highly spiritual for. This, the me, you know, is to caution all mainstream artists 
So what I say is to caution them to send a be your own Korea any underground artists and no be sending new man a own Korea. What you must see own Korea. It's high time a yeja is sad here no. Be original. Mu ya na mu yeye yeye anyum na ebia we feature obi ebia me trip feature obi me verse one yum ni mu me see makoto two verse ni da yeye mi ame nyum. Man, I think the guy has a point because a lot of big artists in Ghana they've been doing that for a long time. I've heard a lot of stories of underground artists complaining about they giving their songs to this big artist to just feature and by the time you realize they've already stolen the song they'll remake it be it their own song and you being underground all the hard work will just go in vain so I mean this guy has a point a lot of people are calling him names but from talking from experience he's saying that yes some of the big artists are fun of doing that so hey it's a caution he is saying now anybody that want to steal a song remember that guy is there he's going to call the person that the song belongs to and he also said that any underground artist who somebody has already stolen your song any underground artist out there that you sent a song to somebody to help you build it and they stole the song come to him he's going to advocate for you so hey I mean, this guy is taking copyright issues serious because in Ghana, we are not taking copyright issues serious. On that note, you're still watching Urban Miss and this your boy Prince looking clean, looking fresh. Always. This is Urban Gear putting me on the spot looking clean like that. Yes, if you're watching us for the first time, just go ahead, go on Instagram, Urban and let's call Mix. On YouTube, Urban Mix TV. Anytime we put a new video, you're going to be the first person to see it. Just click the subscribe button right there. And anytime we put a new video, the notification button will ring. Bing, bing. And you're going to see it. If you're watching us live on TV channel right now, that is channel 7. That is Sky 182. Thank you for being part of the family. You are here in the United Kingdom. You are here in Europe. Anywhere you are, just follow us on Instagram, Urban underscore Mix go on all our social media platform be part of the family and also anytime you comment any videos that we put on instagram youtube wherever we're going to make sure we send you one of our branded headphones the caps everything that we have on the show we're going to be part of the family thank you for being part of this show my name is prince always looking fresh looking clean all by urban gear thank you once again we're going to go straight so if you're ready, let's go straight and take Tanqua. He's ready for us. Pas un fait le bonheur, bonheur, pas un fait le bonheur, pas un fait le bonheur, bonheur, qu'on ne te l'homme pas, pas un fait le bonheur, pas un fait le bonheur, si quelqu'un te dit le contraire, il te trompe. Si t'es un business, il veut dire que tu tombes. Ne l'écoute pas, ce sont les gens comme ça qui ont faim. Ce qu'ils veulent à la fin, c'est que tu sombres. Que t'ailles droit dans la tombe. L'argent fait le bonheur. Quand t'en as mon frère, tu ne plais plus le game. Tu dépends de la rémé. Et toutes les filles de ton quoi te vont t'aimer. Si quelqu'un t'attaque, tu es un bon avocat. Ne sois pas comme ceux qui, matin, midi, soir, mangent le pain avocat. L'argent fait le bonheur. L'argent fait le bonheur. L'argent fait le bonheur. L'argent fait le bonheur. Bonheur. L'argent fait le bonheur. L'argent fait le bonheur. Bonheur. Si t'es d'accord avec moi, alors ressente après moi. Pas un fait le bonheur. 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 Bonheur. Pas un fait le bonheur. Pas un fait le bonheur. Bonheur. Qu'on ne te l'homme pas. Pas un fait le bonheur. Man, that was massive performance. Tankor is actually going to join me in the studio to talk about his music career, how far he has come, coming all the way from Cameroon. I mean the francophone language how viewers and audience are accepting it see you on the flip side as tanka join me right here in the studio right now you're into urban mix make sure you stay in tune with the best you are still watching urban mix as you're watching us live right now if you're watching us this is the first time you're watching us just go ahead share and make sure that you bring a lot of people right here on live so just tell me a little bit about tankwa 
how has your life journey been from Africa all the way to the United States? Just tell me a little bit about yourself. Those watching us for the first time that doesn't know you, who is Tankwa? <clears throat> Thank you for the question. Tankwa is a young Cameroonian artist um, living in the US, especially in Baltimore. So that's where I live. I travel a lot, but um, I'm based in Baltimore. I've been living here in America for, I think, eight years now. Coming from Cameroon, where um, I was doing music already. But I decided to come to America because here it's kind of easy and I'm trying, it's kind of easy to follow my dream. I remember you said that you're making music as a full time. How is it difficult comparing it to back home in Africa, whereby if you're doing music, you have a producer, you have, you have, a, a, I mean, a manager and everything. How is it being like, are you signed to a new label, any label with you at the moment? Mm -hmm. Um, right now, I'm signing my own label. I'm independent. Okay. So, I'm not signing any label. So, I just work with my team. I have a team I work with. And we organize ourselves. I'm the artist. I have a manager. I have um, my singers and everything. Like, all, all, like every everybody has So, you a, have a team, but it's still yeah. under your own management. Yeah, it's exactly. still under your own label. Exactly, and everybody has a rule. So when it comes to make music, so we share um, rules and everything, and uh, even videos. Mm -hmm. When uh, it's time to make videos, everybody put um, like it's out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like we try to like collect money. Mm -hmm. To so you normally do contributions to be able to put music videos together. Mm -hmm. Is that exactly. easy comparing it to back home in Africa, whereby you have a, a producer or somebody that putting money in your music in a career? Is it comparing it back home here? I'm talking about monetary issues. Okay, so it's kind of easy here because here you can have opportunity to work back there if you don't have really have a producer have you as you said um it's not that easy but here you can have uh, your jobs you can have your activities who can bring you money back and then with that money if you know how to manage it you can manage yourself and in, in your career in your music but in back home it's not the same if you don't have a manager if you don't have some like or you're not uh, in a good like good family it went family, it's not that easy, but here you just have to organize yourself and then you can make it happen. All right. So the money that I mean, you working and putting in your music, do you get those money back? Because right now looking at even the coronavirus and everything, how are you coping at the moment as a full time musician? You don't get shows, you don't get any events. How are you coping? in terms of making sure you get money to take care of yourself as an artist? So I'm not doing show right now. It's kind of difficult, but <clears throat> it's bad because my business is not working. I have to pay my team. I have to pay this and that. But at the same time, when I make shows, the good thing about it is that when I make shows, I have to travel around the world. I have to do this and that. I have a lot of tasks to do, but um, the good thing is I decided to organize myself too with my team at this particular time of coronavirus. So we're trying to, we're still working. We're working and we have more time because we stay home singing, singing, and I have an EP coming. Okay. Yeah, I have an EP coming. We decided to take this time, benefit, and uh, so, I mean, this coronavirus in disguise is also helping you as an artist to be able to sit down, write more music, exactly. produce more music. Yeah, and I'm so impressed because um, I didn't know I could be like, in a week I can write like 20 songs, I mm. can make this and that in a week. I, I have a lot of inspiration right now because I'm at home, chilling. Let's talk about music, African music here in the United States. 
Do you think African music is making a big impact? Because you're an African artist, you're not an African American, that you're doing hip hop and stuff, you're doing Afrobeat, you're doing all this. How is it making waves here in the United States? African music as Afrobeat, yeah. Afro vibe, whatever. How is it making impact? Yeah, um, it's you know, like, it, it makes a real, really, really good impact. I'm so surprised sometimes when you go to a show, you see a lot of Africans. I couldn't even believe that there is a lot of Africans here. Like you can make um a you can go to a um to a show where you have to you have um ten thousand places mm -hmm. and then you fill it up like everything is full. Like there is people out there, everybody, like every like Ticket that sold out. Mm -hmm. So it has a really, really good impact. I've seen a lot of Nigerian artists still getting the audience that you're talking about in terms of the African American community. The Nigerian musicians are getting a lot of them. You you hear DJ Khaled listening to Davido's song. You hear uh, uh I mean The Rock listening to Davido Whiskey. Why is it that only Nigerian artists are doing so massive? Even with the community, as you're saying, that they have the mass, I mean, audience. So far, it's Nigerian music. That is the same Afrobeat that Nigerians are doing, Ghanaians are doing, you guys from Cameroon are doing. But why is it that Nigerians are doing more and their music are being accepted more than any other African countries? Okay. <clears throat> I think, first of all, we're, we're coming. We're coming. Um, it takes time, but it will happen. So that's the first thing I, I can I can really say about it. Yeah. We're not at that level yet, but we coming. And the second thing is about our goals too. Uh, it's not everybody who wants to really be like make um, a collab with all those artists. So it's about our goals. Our goals is that we have to put our like they have to come to us. Because based on like, um, how can I say that? Um, Africa is the base of everything. Like mm -hmm. everything is based in Africa. So they decided maybe to go to them. Okay. But us, we want them to come to us. Okay. You saw, did you see, um, did you listen to the last Beyonce album? Yes. There was Burner Boy. Mm -hmm. There is um, Chatawale from yeah, Ghana. Chatawale, yeah. there is um, um, uh, my, my mm -hmm. homeboy Salatia from Cameroon, yeah. a really, really big artist. So okay. that's why we're looking for so far, like since we're looking for that. So they're coming to us already. So it's not like I'm going to take like $10,000 to go and make a collab with this artist, that artist, no. But are you are you saying so Nigerian, some of the Nigerians, I mean, Davido, Whiskey Debs, doing big collaboration with Drake and all these guys, are they paying them to do that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's business, show and business. I'm not, we can be friend and like try to see how we can make it happen. You don't pay me because I'm your friend, but at the end of the day, I have the rent to pay. I have this and that to pay. I have my bills to pay. So what am I, how am I going, how am I going to be paying my bills if you're not paying me? No. If I'm coming to your collab and you say, oh, you're my friend and then I just, kick a vibe, I just kick a freestyle, just kick a verse on your song, and then I go home, how am I going to feed my babies and all that? So you have to pay me. So as I was saying, it's a good thing because they're taking their music up. So we want them to come to us too. I want, I would like to, 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 to have um, Cardi B, like Cardi B calls me or DJ Khaled calls me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just gonna be calling. He's not gonna be calling me. Uh, I'm not gonna be calling him. I mean, all the time. You know what I'm saying? They so you mean to uh, it has come to the point that mm -hmm. the African artists have to do so, their job well for okay. them to come to, to, come to, to us. us? That's why I told you um, before that I like. Really, I really like Sarkozy yeah, because um, he gives a value to his language. How do we call it? Tree. tree. Yeah. yeah, tree. He give a value to tree. Am I pronouncing well? Yeah, that's that's yeah. right. I mean, that is <laughs> that is everybody well. watching us right now. He's talking about Sakoria and how he's putting value to the tree. language tree. 
I mean, Chi is the most popular speaking language in Ghana. I mean, right. talking about Sarkozy, he has been one of the guys that, I mean, as you're saying, a lot of people keep saying that, oh, because he's not singing in English, that's why he's not getting this collaboration and stuff. How do you say to about, I mean, you, you also sing in French. Will somebody say because you're singing in French, that's why you're not that big out there. That's why you're not getting big platforms and you're not getting big collaboration. Is that a reason? No, it's not a reason. As I was saying, you just have to give a value to what you're doing. And the fact that um, he raps in his own language, don't, it's not an issue for him to grow up because he is one of the most like one of the best rappers mm. in Africa, maybe the best. So that's why, why, how you think that they say he's the best or he's one of the best. Mm -hmm. He, um, he, he, uh, he won a he, collaboration like, on it. Yeah, exactly. And he raps in his language. He makes a lot of collaboration. He made a collaboration with um, Ace Who. Yeah, exactly. And then when he made that collaboration with him, um, at the studio, I seen a video at the studio, they were vibing. And ASO was like, what do you say here? What do you say here? Yo, it's, it's good and everything. So that's why I was, I'm saying like, you have to give it value. And me rapping in French here in America, when I when someone listens to my music, they don't even want to know what I'm saying. But just, just the vibe and the vibe, groove. And the vibe and is good. And oh, your video is good. You look good. Wow, what do you say here? So there is that, um, how can I say that, um, that mystery mm -hmm. in, it's, in the music. It's a secret, yeah. like I keep that secret. It's not like I'm going to come, I'm going to say, my name is Tankwa. You know already what I'm saying. But yeah. if I say that in French, you m'appelle Tankwa. It's so... You want to know, know you want what to go to the dictionary and know. So that's okay. the thing. I'm trying to, like, I want you to take your dictionary. I want you to make research. I just okay. don't want to be like... Oh, my name is Tankwa. I'm a rapper. I'm do this, this, and that. No, I want you to stay quiet, open your dictionary, and, and what just search about. Yeah, pause. Oh, play. Pause. Play. Yeah, exactly. So you're saying that music is actually not about language. It's about the rhythm. It's about the vibe, exactly. basically. Mm -hmm. Which you and what you say. Yeah. And what you say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your performance in studio b whilst you were with the team playing live band and everything how was the experience back there i mean doing live performance to your own songs and everything how was the how was the experience back there can yeah, you share with us yeah it was very good it was very good i had this uh my pianist yeah he's a good good pianist his yeah. name is kofi oh yeah a best pianist one of the best pianists ever are you talking about twitch <laughs> yeah twitch has been on this uh, he has been on this show a couple times but i never knew that he know how to play keyboard and i mean yeah. i seen him the first time on the live video i was like man <laughs> is that twitch right there but hey it was it was massive right now you're into urban mix Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Je vous présente ma chérie. Elle est la plus belle femme du monde. Pour elle, je suis prêt à tout. Même si c'est pour aller chercher tout l'or du monde. Elle a conquis mon esprit. C'est la seule qui me fait fondre. Mon amour pour elle inonde Je ne la quitterai pas, qu'est-ce que vous croyez Elle m'a montré qu'il peut tenir en foyer Le choisi, c'est le choisi oh. Vous pouvez continuer d'aboyer Elle est mon devant, derrière Pas la première, mais sûrement la dernière J'ai tellement hésité de te le dire Que je pense que c'est le moment de te faire partie Tu l'aimes, tu l'aimes, tu l'aimes, tu l'aimes J'ai mis une croix, c'est avec toi que je veux vivre sur le même toit. Bien que je te mette la bague de toi, non, je te dois tout parce que t'as fait de moi un roi. Je suis libre de joie, comparé toutes ces bois blancs à toi, non, elles ne font pas le pouvoir. Tu fais de moi l'homme le plus heureux du monde. 
moment je peux écrire ton nom partout, partout. Je n'ai Dieu que pour toi, t'es ma Nyango, bébé, que tous les autres partout. Dans mon cœur, tu l'es partout. Dans mon cœur, tu l'es partout. Tu l'es partout, t'es partout. T'es partout. T'es partout. T'es partout. T'es ma Georgette, ma Brenda, ma Somme, ma Somme. T'es ma Dieu, tu l'aimes, ma Dieu, tu l'aimes. Tankor is with us right here. We're having a good time right here. Your last song that you performed, which is talking about the only one, you're talking about this lady that we don't know. Who is this lady that is making you just go crazy about that? Every lady is so jealous about you just doing a song for this particular lady. Is it true that you only have one lady in the first place because all of them are watching? If there are two, three, four, five, I don't know. We <laughs> want to know. Oh, I have only one lady. It's her. I don't know. It's not her. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about our relationship. Is it easy for <laughs> musicians, artists mm -hmm. to be with one person? Is it easy? Why is it not easy in the it's first place? It's not easy. Why it's is not it not easy? easy? Because um, when you go to shows, mm -hmm. like seventy percent of people in the show are women, so it's not easy when they're crying, they're screaming when you you you're on stage. They want to be with you, so it's not easy. But at the end of the day, if you know how to control yourself, it's gonna be, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say easy, but it's... It is it difficult it for an artist like you to be able to control yourself? Because you're looking at, it's easy, it's not easy. Like, is it um, easy it's... for you, like an, as an artist who is in your pram doing this big massive music and stuff like that? Is it easy yeah. going for shows, looking fresh all the time, like looking at the sneakers and stuff like that? Is it that easy? And if it's not easy, how do you control that? Um, it's not easy, but I make it happen. And I, the way I control it is that when I'm on stage, when I finish, you're done. I'm done. I just go to the back. That's it. I mean, backstage, you see these fine ladies coming out. Hi, Tanqua. Oh, I love your music. Yeah. I'm your fan. <laughs> yeah, Man, exactly. can I take a, a selfie with you? I mean, I go to shows and I see this all the time in the backstage and... Uh -huh. I mean, how, how do you guys control this? Yeah, that's just like, I try to control it. Like you just, I don't know. I have a team, first of all. Yeah, right. And they, they can't like, they don't let me do what I want to do. Okay. I know I have fans. I have to, to communicate with my fans. I have to take pictures with them. I have to do selfies and everything, videos. They want it. They want autographs and all that. But after that, I'm done. I'm going home. I just have to because my team can't even leave me do what i want to do you know what i'm saying like it's not easy but if you want to be an artist as i said full-time artist international artist you have to get yourself away from some stuff 
I have fans, their fans. I have my family, I have my family, I have my team. Everybody has his role. You can say like you have you are a teacher and then you start going out with the student things with your student. All right. That makes sense. Everybody that is a good advice out there. I mean, all these artists and you guys out there. I mean, I know it's not easy. Anytime you go out there, you see these beautiful ladies coming at you all the time. But Tan Kwa is saying, when it gets to that point, just know that these guys are just your fans. And let it be there as your fans. That's what we're going to say. Thank you for being on the show. And anything that you have for your fans, you're going to tell them in, um, in, in, in French or in English because I know you have fan base. We have fans in the UK watching us. We have fans in here in the United States and back home in Africa. So uh, this is for you. All the cameras right here for you. Just give shout outs to anybody watching us today who has been a fan for you today. Urban Mix, thank you for being here for me since day one. My name is, is Tankwa. I'm a Cameroonian artist. And I love you guys. And if you don't follow me, if you didn't follow me yet, it's time for me. It stands for you guys mm -hmm. to know who I am. Just go to my Instagram, T A N K W A Tankwa, for sure. You just write the number four and then sure. S U R E. It's the same name on. YouTube, the same name on Facebook. So Tankwa for sure. Just click and um, just follow me and we can discuss, we can make it happen together. Like we can go to the same place, the same lane together. And um, yeah, if you didn't watch the video yet, it's time for you guys to go and check the video on YouTube, Chichule. Titular is the video. Just go and check and tell me what you think about it. All right. So to be honest with you, he's doing a good one. He's doing a good vibe. And at the end of the day, if he can just give us a freestyle, anybody that is watching us, which of the songs do you want us to give a freestyle of the song? Which of the songs? You, you, you did actually <clears throat> perform three songs on, this, on, the, on, on the main studio. So which of the songs you want to do a freestyle for? Titular. All right, thank you guys for watching me today. My name is Prince and also being part of the family. I like you so much for being here. Please just go ahead. If this is the first time you're watching us, go on YouTube, search for Urban Mix TV. We are there. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on all social media platforms. Instagram is urban underscore mix. And anytime you see us here, please drop a comment on all our videos. If you're watching me here in the United Kingdom, this is Sky Channel 7182. This is the baddest. This is the entertainment show right here. Brewed, brewed, mixed, finished, everything here in the United States, giving it to you in Europe, in the United Kingdom, and all over Africa. See you next week. This is your boy, Prince. Thank you for being part of the family. Bye for now. L'argent fait le bonheur si quelqu'un te dit le contraire, il te trompe. Si t'es un business, il veut direct que tu tombes. Ne l'écoute pas, ce sont les gens comme ça qui ont faim. Ce qu'ils veulent à la fin, c'est que tu sombres. Que t'ailles droit dans la tombe. L'argent fait le bonheur. Quand t'en as mon frère, tu ne plais plus le game. Tu dépends de la rémé. Et toutes les filles de ton quoi te vont t'aimer. Si quelqu'un t'attaque, tu es un bon avocat. Ne sois pas comme ceux qui, matin, midi, soir, mange le pain avocat. Right now, you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best.